electric field at a, uh, any point okay so at any point inside right any point uh, inside the cavity of a uniformly charged solid non conducting sphere right so here is uh, the big sphere what you are seeing this is a, a non conducting uh, charged sphere okay non conducting charged sphere and here what you are seeing the cavity okay that means this part of uh, the sphere is removed well now i am calling uh, the radius of this big sphere as r and whose uh, volume charge density is uh, rho okay right so radius of a big sphere is r okay radius of big sphere is r and uh, uh, what i can i can say further is uh, the volume charge density volume charge density uh, is a rho okay is rho and now you must know the charges are uh, uniformly distributed everywhere here inside okay here the charges are uniformly distributed and no charge is existing here well before that we assume the complete sphere is present okay the complete sphere is present be careful let us assume there is no cavity okay so let us assume there is no cavity in this situation we assume there is no cavity inside and uh, we simply treat some charges inside okay it's also uniformly distributed charges like this some charges are lying inside right so we are assuming some charges because there is existing no cavity in this situation what you have to notice is this is the point o and this is the point o dash say there exists some point somewhere anywhere here call that point p okay this one i redraw that part of the picture like this you know this is uh, the cavity portion what we are seeing here is the point o and somewhere here we are having the point o dash and there exist some point p somewhere here okay and at that point at point p what happens the electric field due to the electric field due to the complete sphere is acting along this line along this line like this this is the electric field due to the sphere electric field due to the sphere so that i may show somewhere here for you right so i will show you here okay this is the distance vector and uh, here exists the electric field due to the sphere the sphere okay the complete one it is because of the sphere and from this one how much electric field may exist from this portion that should be noted okay so that uh, can be observed like this na? the electric field from this portion will act in this direction okay the line joining the two points here, here and this is the direction of the electric field due to the portion of the cavity 
okay that i am showing uh, in this picture in the separate portion like this you know this is the distance for this vector and here exists the electric field due to the portion of the cavity right and now if i join o and o dash i may get a line like this i call every line as the position vector position vector of o with respect to o dash is acting here this one this is the x vector and this one is say some r vector otherwise i call it uh, some a vector this one right which is here acting like this and this one this is the position of position uh, uh, vector of p with respect to uh, o dash is uh, say some b right this one now how we can write the electric fields for uh, these two things na? e sphere is equal to is equal to it is rho right divided by 3 epsilon o into uh, this is a vector right and electric field due to the portion of the cavity is rho to b divided by 3 epsilon o how i am able to write this so just refer my previous video how actually we, we are capable of writing these things well so now what we have to think now at now at point p point p okay now at point p where is the point p point p is here inside now at point p what happens at point p if we remove okay so if we remove if we remove uh, the portion of cavity right that much portion if we remove okay be careful if we remove this much then the electric field at point p is e p is equal to what i can write e sphere right e sphere minus this one e cavity portion okay e cavity portion for this what i do is e p is equal to what is e sphere we are already having it it is rho a vector divided by 3 epsilon o minus and for this we are having this much rho b vector divided by 3 epsilon o further what i can write this is nothing but e p is equal to rho divided by 3 epsilon o and inside bracket it is e vector minus b vector right e vector minus b vector but what's the observation we are doing look here this is vector x plus vector b vector x plus vector b in the same order right this is equal to vector a vector a now we are we need vector a minus b okay therefore vector a minus vector b is equal to vector x right vector x so now what i can replace for this i can replace this by vector x therefore ep is equal to rho divided by 3 epsilon o into x vector this is the way how we can express right if we need only the magnitude only magnitude then what we have to do magnitude then e magnitude is equal to rho x divided by 3 epsilon o this is uh, the way how we have to write so where is x be careful x is nothing but uh, the vector which is acting here right 
actor x is acting in this direction that means inside the cavity right uh, if we treat it uh, like this you know uh, this is a big sphere and in which we are having some cavity somewhere here right the x vector is nothing but uh, the vector which is connecting o and o dash this is a vector x okay this is a vector x now uh, from our uh, information that is this one this equation what we have to notify is the electric field at any point inside this cavity should act only along uh, the direction x vector that means inside this cavity we are having the electric field like this this is the direction of uh, the electric field inside this cavity uniform and uh, like this